Yo, what's up guys, you're Jinkin' here, and welcome to a video all about the most important thing in Mortal Kombat 11 gameplay, frame data. Oh, I know, try not to get too hot and steamy, you know, we'd be talking about numbers here, but uh, if you really want to up your game from me, just a casual couch player, to someone that actually, like, a little bit knows what they're doing, maybe beat some friends, maybe beat the guy down the street, you know, this should be a video you'll be interested in. I'm going to split it into two parts, because it is a lot of information to take in. Um, so, to find out frame data, you just go to your moves. And it says right along the bottom, frame data. Look at that, all nice and shiny. So today we're going to go after uh, startup frames, uh, hit advantage, and block advantage. I know it's not exactly in the order that they have it here, but I think those are some uh, pretty important things. So when you're thinking of fighting games, think of it similar to like boxing. You don't have to have a whole lot of boxing experience to know that like if you just do like a short jab, it's gonna be pretty quick might not be the best thing to get a knockout with. Obviously you want a knockout, you go for the overhand right. Uh, difference, of course, in the jab is a lot quicker. You know, a lot quicker, a lot more opportunities to hit it. Overhand right is pretty slow, but can do a lot of damage. Fighting games, the same kind of thing. So when you're looking at your frame data, we go to our basic attacks first, and we see the startup frames. So the lower the number, the better. So usually six or seven frames are like some of the fastest moves in the game. Um, so you want to go through and see which ones of these are the fastest. So we have a seven frame down one and a seven frame standing one. And other than that, we're pretty solid across the board for the rest of them. Forward four is nice. Which one's that? Ooh, kind of quick. <laughs> um, so you want to keep this in mind when you're going to punish people. Uh, so say you're having somebody who's spamming you all the time online with one move and you just don't know what to do about it. You try and try and block it, but you don't get anything afterwards. This will tell you exactly what to do about that move. So let's let's take our, our standing one, for example. So seven frames. This is important. If you go over to your combos and you go to one, two, now it says startup is nine frames. That is still, uh, that is only the second move of that string. The first hit of that string will always be the input commands. So when you want to look for a string to punish somebody with, you want to look for the in input commands first and find the lowest number and then find a combo that leads off of that. So for example, one, two, three. Uh, start up on the last hit is 13 frames, but the start up on the whole string is seven. So it punishes most things. So that's this string here. So, you know, if somebody does, uh, let's let's see if we can show you real quick. We'll set, uh, set sub zero to slide. So sub zero slides at us. We punish with one, two, three. I'm gonna turn that off. And um, the reason that we know that we can punish that with one, two, three is if we look at um, sub zero's frame data here, we can see the block advantage is minus 20, which we're gonna get into a little bit more in a second. But I just wanted to kind of show that out to you. The main thing going over startup frames is just so you understand how fast your moves are. Let's look at uh, Sub-Zeros for a second. Are you with me so far? Feel free to leave any questions in the comments down below and of course subscribe because we're going to be making all sorts of tutorials for you. Um, so Sub-Zero, start up eight frames. Six frame down one, which is actually faster than most things Liu Kang has, so that's kind of good to know. And other than that, nothing too quick that catches my eye. 28 frames, wow. Usually, yeah, like I said, usually the slower moves are the better ones. So uh, I'm assuming, yeah, like look how much, that's almost full screen. So that's why that move is so slow, because there's so much more advantage to it, um, to, to using it. It is a little bit riskier, of course, because someone could interrupt you or not, but that's kind of what uh, the idea behind that is. So that's pretty much startup frames in a nutshell. How fast it takes your move to actually hit your opponent. And now we're going to go into block advantage, which is what happens when your opponent blocks your move, which is what's happening right now. So let's take the same 1-2-3 string, for example. So let's say we go to punish Sub-Zero with this 1-2-3 string, and he's like, nah, you timed it wrong, buddy. Um, your block advantage is minus six on this move, which means not only is it a very fast punish, but it's also what's considered safe because there's no moves in the game, um, physical attacks anyway, that are minus, that are 
faster than six frames. So even if your opponent blocks this, they can't punish you for it. You can block before they can do anything. So minus anything minus six, minus five, minus four, minus three, minus two, minus one, all of those are completely safe. So those are the moves that you can kind of throw a little bit more, uh, more willy-nilly as, as the, uh, well, I don't want to say kids say because they, they don't say that, but <laughs> I do. Um, so we take a move, for example, uh, what's an unsafe one he has? Oh, look at Luke, look at Liu Kang all safe on everything. And plus. It's really cramping my style. I think he only has one here. Minus 12, so that's this one right here. So if I do that string, and Sub-Zero knows that it's minus 12, he has, for example, as we looked, a six frame down one. So he has 12 frames to hit that six frame down one. Are you with me so far? I know it's kind of confusing. I hope I understand. It's because his move is twice as fast as it takes me to recover from this. By the time I block, he can actually hit me with the down one. Let's see if I can uh, if I can do a little demonstration here for you. So you kind of understand what I'm talking about. So I'm going to do Liu Kang. We're going to do this string. I'm going to block afterwards. So you see, Sub-Zero was able to down one because his down one is faster than it takes for that string to recover at 12 frames as opposed to six. So that is the idea of an unsafe move. And that goes back to what I was talking about before with um, if you have a move, like say Liu Kang keeps just doing that to you over and over again, right? And, you know, he's like, down one mashing all this stuff after you're set with Liu Kang you can go in and set the AI and record the AI to actually do that like I just did over and over and over again and then you can practice different moves against the AI to try and punish it going through your frame data looking at how negative his move is and trying to find some quick moves that you might have so let's see if we have a better option other than our down one as sub-zero to punish that So we know that our fastest, so it needs to be, I usually say 11, so since it's minus 12, I usually give a frame for execution. So minus 11, if, or 11 frames or 10 frames or faster. So we got our standing one, standing two, down two, but that doesn't lead to combos. Hopefully you kind of see the, how this goes through my brain. I'm hoping I'm doing this too quick for you guys. So one, two, four, or two, one, two. Let's see which one does the most damage. So those both stand, that starts with standing one, which is uh, eight frames, I believe, we said. Yeah, and then standing two is also eight frames. So we use a combo starting with one of those. So one, two, four, and then two, one, two. So one, two, four. Oh, we should probably take them off block. That would help. One, two, four does uh, 11, 68. 212 does 121. So we're going to use 212. So we're going to record um, our Liu Kang by going to human. Or sorry, record. Block mode always. <laughs> and you'll notice when you do get a punish, it says in the. Uh, See, right above where Sub-Zero is, it'll say Punish. That wasn't an actual Punish that time, and that's why it didn't show up. That one was. So that's a good indicator of, oh, I just caught him not blocking, like I did just there, as opposed to, I actually caught him before he could recover. So that's a really nice feature that I like that uh, NRS put into the games. It makes it really easy to, to tell when you actually timed your Punish right, and when you just kind of missed it. So that's block advantage. I um, hope that made a little bit of sense. Like I mentioned, you put any comments down below because I tend to get a little bit rambly sometimes and I hope I didn't confuse you. And we're going to go in the last one, which is hit advantage, which is uh, pretty self-explanatory here. Some moves are better than others. So hit advantage, uh, you can see right next to on the, on the right hand side there. Uh, and this, of course, tells you how many frames of advantage you get if you hit somebody. Usually if it's a really high number, like 34 or something like this, I'm assuming that this is a one that kicks them away. Yeah. 
And a lot of the ones that actually leave them standing, you don't get a whole lot of hit advantage because that would allow for too much, uh, too much shenanigans. So let's say, for example, we just go to standing two. So standing two gives us 22 frames of hit advantage, which means for 22 frames, they can't do anything but block. Um, that doesn't mean that you get a free attack for anything that's 22 frames or uh, or faster. It just means that uh, they can't move, do anything for 22 frames. So you can do standing two into, let's see, standing four. How fast is standing four? 19 frames startup. So you set AI to block mode auto. So if you set it to auto block, you can hit them once, and then as soon as they're able to block, they're going to do so. So you can see, that will actually link standing two into standing four, because we have 22 frames of hit advantage, and our startup is 19 frames. So as long as we start that up within two frames, they have to take that move regardless. I don't know when you would ever use this particular setup, but I'm just using it as an example so you can see how hit advantage kind of plays into it. So you take um, your hit advantage and you subtract your startup frames from it so it makes your next move faster i know it's a lot to take in um the more that you practice it the more that you'll kind of understand it i hope i don't really have much more and the uh really that i can show you but uh yeah that's all i wanted to show you for now like i said it's a plethora of information but really once you learn it it'll make the game make so much more sense to you so please don't hesitate to ask uh, any questions or comments down below i also do one-on-one -on -one lessons where i can explain this to you one-on-one -on -one. uh do it through the patreon we have a discord down there as well you can join that but uh yeah if you enjoyed this video please leave a like because it really helps me out and subscribe because we make new videos every single day hashtag big dink energy and we'll see all you guys in the next video